Hello everyone and welcome to uh, what is going to be the first video of my tutorials on how to model, um, mod and make assets uh, for games. Primarily it's going to be for the Armour series, particularly Armour 3, as it's based mostly for the people over at uh, City Life, um, which is where I will be putting most of the tutorials. They will also All of the tutorials will be uploaded to YouTube, but I'll have extra things on there for anyone part of CL. Uh, if you don't know what CL is, it is um, it's a RP server, so I will leave a link in the description below for anyone that wants to join it or apply, read the rules, etc. See if it might be the thing for them. Um, for anyone that is part of CL, I will be putting the tutorials on this forum page you can see here, which is under the media section, and I will also leave the link for that in the description. And at the end, uh, basically, I'll be spoiling all of the uh, tutorials on this forum, so you'll be able to go on it, have a look at them, and at the end of each tutorial, if there is a asset or a model or anything to do with that, I will be putting um, at the end of each tutorial, however far I've got to uh, on that part, I will be uploading. So if you struggle on a certain bit, um, you can have a look at mine, uh, or you can work from mine, etc. Um, and I might be adding some sample things, like for example when we get around to texturing, I might add some sample textures, all of the links that can help you out will also be on there, um, and any other things like that. As well, at the end of, especially the first set of tutorials, which will be making a house, um, or some sort of asset for CL primarily, anyone that is in CL uh, I will possibly run a, a competition, so um, I might do something like the best house out of everyone that uh, follows these, and when it gets all loaded, I'll get a few people to vote on them, um, and I will have a look as well. And the best ones, uh, not only will we submit to possibly be used by CL, but I will also put in uh, maybe 100, 150k prize for um, the winner. Uh, so basically, let's get on with it. As you can see, this is tutorial 1.0, which as you can see is installing the needed tools, well, which is due today. That's because I put the post up yesterday. Um, so basically, we're going to be starting off, as I say, by modeling. Uh, so primarily, we're going to be needing the tools to model, and then we're going to be needing the tools to actually um, get the programming game. Um, so the first tool that we're going to be using, or I'm going to primarily going to be using, is 3ds Max, which is this, um, which can be downloaded from this site here. Uh, it's an Autodesk software, which a lot of people would think costs a lot of money. However, if you are a student or if you are training to use the program, i.e. educating yourself in using it, it is free for three years. Uh, all you have to do is sign up for an account. And then uh, when you've signed up, you log in using this link, which will be in the description, same as any other. Um, you can go on and choose your version. I'm using 2016. Obviously, it's the latest version. Never will understand why in 2015 you can use 2016, but we'll never know. Uh, so basically, when you choose that, you can choose your language. So make sure you choose the right language. Uh, I will show you something in a second that uh, kind of makes this irrelevant, but this is mostly for the installer. Uh, so I pick English, and then... It gives me the option for the 64-bit operating system. Uh, this program is quite demanding, mostly through RAM and CPU. Um, but, I mean, if you can run games like Armour, not too bad. You shouldn't have too much difficulty. If you don't feel like downloading 3ds Max or um, you don't feel you're applicable to the education side, I mean, as far as I know, you're allowed to use it if you're learning the program. You can also use an alternative, which is Blender, which is... Uh, in my opinion, not as good. I used to use Blender. I moved over to 3ds Max. I do understand, uh, although I can't remember a lot of the controls, it is very similar, so a lot of the things we'll be using. Some of them might not be in uh, Blender. For example, the bridge tool um, isn't in Blender. However, things like Extrude is, so you might be able to work your way around it. Um, but as I say, primarily we're going to be using 3ds Max for this group of tutorials, uh, making the house. Um, when you have done and installed 3ds Max, uh, what you will eventually get is, uh, obviously through Windows 10, you will get an Autodesk uh, program, 
and as you can see it does actually install all of the ones in different languages you can either use the English one or you can use uh, 3ds Max 2016 that will I'm pretty sure open the latest program uh, I'm not going to bother opening that now because um, let's save that for an another tutorial and then obviously Blender is another one as I say you can use I haven't got that installed because I don't use it the other tool that we're going to be needing is uh, through Steam um, so obviously we have Armour and then the other thing we're going to be needing is if you go to library and sorry not software if you go down to tools you have a lot of list of tools for certain games and if you find under armor 3 you have armor 3 samples armor 3 server and armor 3 tools i believe armor 3 servers for running servers samples is things that you can sort of look at and help yourself with but we are going to be using armor 3 tools um, this which if i play game even though it's not a game you'll see that when it loads we have a lot of different tools here uh, primarily we are going to be using object builder um, all of these programs get installed with it uh, you've got terrain builder which is building terrains and maps um, you have the publisher to put it on the steam workshop you have object builder which makes the objects uh, text view is for textures um, and then obviously we also have add-on builder which is also what we're going to be using to pack the uh, models and scripts and whatever else we make into a compressed folder that makes it into a mod that armor 3 can read so what we'll be doing primarily is taking the program from or taking the model from 3ds max importing it into object builder which is where we add shadows uh, shadow lods which enable shadows geometry so you can't run through it fire geometry so you know what happens when you shoot the building uh, textures, all of that lot will be added into uh, Object Builder, um, and then from Object Builder, we'll be able to use a small bit of basic code, which I will uh, obviously give a snippet of that you can tweak yourself, or you can choose to write it out yourself. And I'll go through what the code does, what it means. That will then get it into game, which we will then pack that whole folder up using Add-on Builder and then you'll be able to play it in game and I will show you how to view it in game through the editor um, so yeah that wraps up the first video hope you uh, found it relatively useful yeah, as I say it's only explaining what the tools are what they're needed if you have any questions feel free to uh, drop a comment on the YouTube video um, you can put them on the forum page as well however I'd like to try and keep the forum page a little bit uh, a little bit you know clean uh, not like loads of pages loads of posts on it I don't mind if it does um, however I mean if you don't have a YouTube channel uh, or a YouTube account don't worry feel free to comment on the forums if you see me on TeamSpeak you can get in touch with me uh, if I'm not doing uh, EMT work or if I'm not doing um, other work I, I can pull you aside or we can go into the project office and I can give you a little bit of help if with any questions you might have um, so thanks for watching guys uh, tutorial 1.1 will be uploaded uh, when I get around to recording it it shouldn't be I'm going to try and upload possibly one a day possibly one every two days um, so we can get through this nice and quick uh, I don't the numbers of the tutorials might raise there might be less in certain videos um, because modeling isn't an easy thing but I'm going to try and split it up into easy enough segments, explain as much as I can um, in different ways and uh, I will be um, just sort of getting you through. So as we can see, if we go back onto this, we'll be seeing that 1.1 will actually just be basics of the 3ds Max interface and the tools it contains. So I'll just be taking you through all of the tools that we'll be using. So if you want to go ahead and mess around with those tools and work out what they do, you can explain what the interface is, where different things are to find, so you don't, because when people load up th uh, programs like 3, 3ds Max, they will often look at it and think, it's just so confusing. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, I'll be uploading this video now, so obviously when you watch it, it will have already been updated. Uh, as I say, if you haven't, follow and watch the uh, topic on the forums, and for us to subscribe on YouTube, and uh, like. You can also suggest any topics that I might be able to cover after I've done this set of tutorials, but I'm definitely going to be making the house first. So thanks guys for watching, and I uh, hope this was useful.